Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, in the month of Ramadan, we are given a leeway if a person is on a journey or they are unwell. Allah Almighty says, فَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ if a person is sick or on a journey, they can make it up on other days, days outside the month of Ramadan. That's one. Another one, if a woman is on her menstrual cycle, she is not allowed to fast. The idea is for Allah Almighty's blessings, Allah wants you to obey his instruction as is. Remember, the whole reason why we are fasting is obedience to the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same would apply if he says, don't fast, don't fast. Now, the main issue is people need to be happy that they are adopting either a leeway that Allah has provided for them. I call it a discount or that they are following the instruction of Allah and not fasting because it is Allah's instruction. So if you are unwell for some reason, you have some sickness, even if it is uh, temporary or long term, remember you have the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to fast. In fact, if your health is going to be deteriorating by fasting, the scholars say it is better not to fast and concentrate on improving your health. In the meantime, and even if you're on a journey, no matter what, if you're on a journey, be it a difficult journey or an easy journey, you do have the leeway. You do have permission not to fast. And sometimes some of the scholars actually recommend that if you're on a journey, do not fast because of a certain narration. Don't feel bad that you have adopted the easier way. Don't feel bad that you have not fasted because you are sick or because you are on a journey. Remember the hadith says, Inna Allah yuhibbu an tu'ta rukhasahu. Allah Almighty loves it when you are making use of the permissions that He has granted you. He loves it. I've created ease for you and you're making use of the ease. Well, Allah loves it in the same way that He loves it when you do things that He has ordered, commanded or recommended. So in this particular case, there are people who are unwell and they continue to push themselves to fast and the health is deteriorating and they think they're doing a good deed in actual fact. If you're unwell, don't feel bad that, look, I've had to have my medication, I've had to eat. And once, you've, once you know that you're not fasting, you're allowed to have proper meals. It, you won't be rewarded to have stayed away from eating and drinking through the day when you're not fasting at all. But don't eat and drink in front of others as a courtesy and in order to hold the respect of the month. The whole world does not need to know that you're on a period or you're not fasting or you're sick or unwell or that you're on a journey. Therefore, I'm going to eat openly. Don't eat openly. You can eat, but try and do so in a way that is not absolute public. And like I said, the reasoning for that is just so that you, the, the sanctity of that month is maintained and people know this is the month of fasting. The point is when you're unwell, don't feel that, OK, I'm just going to have minimum water I'm just going to eat a little bit as much as I need. You don't get rewarded for that. You don't get re rewarded for uh, keeping away from part food and part drink. You're either fasting or you're not fasting. If you're fasting, you stay away from food and drink. If you're not fasting, eat properly. It's okay. That's something that people need to know because I've come across a lot of people who say, look, I'm unwell or I'm breastfeeding. That's why I can't. When you're breastfeeding, if you can fast, you can. If you cannot fast, you don't have to. You can fast later on. You can make it up another time. When you're pregnant and expecting, if it's easy for you to fast, you can fast. Many sisters say, I find it so simple when I'm pregnant, I can fast the whole month because I don't even have my period. So it's up to you. You do have a discount. You do have a leeway. But if you are not fasting, please make sure that you eat. Make sure that you're taking care of your health and you don't feel bad to consume something through the day, especially when you're not doing it in public because you're not fasting. May Allah Almighty make it easy for all of us and grant us goodness. I thought it would be a very interesting uh, topic just to address because many people struggle and when they struggle, they actually make it a double struggle. 
sometimes you're on a journey and you say no i can make it i can manage why should i uh, why should i not fast i i agree with that that for me to make it up later is is very difficult i'd rather do it now in ramadan but i promise you if someone traveling with you chooses not to fast it is okay it is as okay as choosing to fast even if the journey was quite a simple one it's a discount allah's given you the quran says that the same applies if you're unwell you have a flu a fever whatever else if you can't fast please don't and sometimes if you're unwell you're diagnosed and you know this person's not well you know what to be honest with you don't feel guilty don't think you need to stretch yourself right to the end no you're unwell you are known as maril allah says it's okay you fast another time he actually says yuridu allah bikum al yusra wa la yuridu bikum al usra Allah wants ease for you and he doesn't want any form of hardship or difficulty. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. Aqulu qawli hadha. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.